take that much time out of your day to do the first three terms. Because we recognize here, first of all, this can be rewritten as negative x plus a negative 3 to the 7. The first term of the binomial expansion would be negative x to the 7th, negative 3 um, to the 0. Right? That'd be the first term in the expansion, right? First, second, third, fourth. Do you guys kind of see the pattern there? So then the second term would be negative x to the 6th, negative 3 to the 1st. That's the second term in the expansion. And then the third term, which we're looking for, is going to be a negative x to the fifth and negative 3 squared. Yes? No? Okay. Well, I'm just doing the binomial expansion. I'm just stopping because I don't need to figure out all, all the terms. I just need to find the third term, so I'm going to stop at this one. That's the third term. Okay? But now we need to know, well, what about the coefficients, though? Right? We don't need to see the fourth term. Or, and the other reason why, guys, is I'm not always going to ask you the third term. I could ask you the second term. I could ask you the fourth term, the fifth term, right? Could go on and on. Yes? Oh. But the third term's a nice term to find. Um, so let's find the coefficients. So we go ahead and create our Pascal's triangle. Right? We know that's for the second row, third row, fourth row fifth row. And really, I don't need to continue on that, because the seventh row, I can just stop right here. right? Because all I need, guys, is the third term in the seventh row. right? So you don't really even need to do like that side of Pascal's triangle in reality. I just did it because, obviously, I wanted to remind you of where it's coming from. But you can like, you know, shorten your work. Like, we just need to get to this, the third term in the seventh row. Right? So now we see that that number is 21. So now we just need to simplify everything. So we have 21. Negative x to the fifth is negative x to the fifth. Just written like this. Remember? OK. And then negative 3 squared is going to be a positive 9. So now we have a 21 times a negative 1, right? because that's the coefficient. So 21 times negative 1 times 9, which is a negative 189 x to the fifth. And that is the third term that I would be looking for.